Hello football fans, this is AJFB. Today, three months after starting my channel, it's finally time to travel abroad. And the country you are going to visit with me is... Um, yeah, it's Sweden. The city we are flying to is located in the southwestern part of the country. It's Gothenburg. Gothenburg is the second biggest city of Sweden after the capital Stockholm. And it has the population of 580,000 people. Of course, we are attending a first division match. The Swedish first division is called Al Svenskan, and there is an interesting fact about it, namely that it's an annual competition instead of being a season competition. So with, for example, the Norwegian league, it's a season is a year. So now it's already round 25 and we are close to the end, five rounds. Gothenburg can be considered rich if it comes to first division football because they have two first division teams, EFK Göteborg and BEK Hecken. I think I could still work on my Swedish pronunciation though. Today's match visit contains one of these two first division clubs, the first one, Göteborg, and from now on I'm gonna call them Gothenburg. Today they are playing against a team from Stockholm, Djurgården's Idrottsförening. Quick look at the standings of Al Svenskan. As you see, it is really tense at the top, and Djurgården is in the race. This actually means that if they win today, they go top. 16 teams in Allsvenskan, which means 30 games per team a season. Gothenburg is a bit closer to the relegation zone, so it actually means to them quite much as well, because they can end up uh, in, the, in the relegation playoffs. As you see, they have the advantage of the home ground, but I still think it's maybe Dear Gordon who has a bit more chance of winning today. But we know how unpredictable football is, so how great it would be to celebrate with the home fans, right? We'll see. So about the home team. Gothenburg was found in 1904. They are 18 times Swedish champions and eight time cup winners. If you look at their blue white logo, the crest is actually similar to the one of the city. The away team Djurgården was found in 1891, 130 years ago exactly, on the namesake island of Stockholm. They are 12 times Swedish champions and five times Swedish cup winners. Their last title they won two years ago in 2019. The venue of today's match is Gamla Ullevi, the home stadium of Gothenburg. It has a capacity of 18,416 people. So, time to leave to the airport. Let's go. So we're just arriving in Gothenburg and it looks like I already found the city airport shuttle bus, so on it goes. Look how beautiful the autumn is here. Next stop is my hostel. So that was my hostel. It was a shared space where I had to be quiet, but I don't have to do that now. Uh, on it goes to Gamla Ullevi, the home stadium of IFK Gothenburg. The match starts in one and a half hour, hang on. Almost there guys, almost there. And here it is, darling. Wow, great sight. It's actually quite close to the inner city. Merchandising tent here. Yeah, you can see that the party starts soon. Here the stadium's whole name. It actually means old so it's old the levy and next to it is the new one but it has changed because this one was new built recently every kind of programs before the game how amazing this is real company this is the official fan shop well it closes soon so have a look Well, I usually buy pennants, but today I decided uh, for this, it's a nice tailored logo. 
really nice vibe this stadium you can just uh, stand there and look at the city i really like it so uh, noel is in front of me a local fan and he works here as well well uh how do you see your chances today against your gordon uh, i see our chances uh, as good and uh, i thought uh, ifk gaffenberg can win this match and you are 11th now and your gordon is uh, second do you think that the fact of the home ground can win you the match today it's a big game in Sweden, uh, this match, so I think uh, the fans here, uh, it's very much fans and uh, I think this can uh, make us stronger as uh, a stronger team as uh, Djurgården. Well, look who I found, it's the mascot of Gothenburg. So here it is, official mascot of Gothenburg, number 10. 40 minutes to go until kickoff, so time to go inside. Home standing sector there, the Ultra. All the way on the other side. Fans of your Gordon.
So in the first and the last third here Gordon had the better play but in the middle Gudeborg had the pressing and it meant a 1-0 lead to them. The stats are about equal to both position and the shots on target as well. I'm really curious about the second half. It is such a great atmosphere here. What a game and what an atmosphere. It's pure stuff here in Scandinavia. Wow. I'm really, really satisfied with this. An interesting thing there is the studio actually in the corner. It is so great to see the Epic fans. 
and that surprise I talked about in the intro. It's not reality, it's 3 0. So, a surprisingly one sided result today, and with these changes in the standings, there were another three matches played at the same time. And as a conclusion, now Dear Gordon is one down and Gothenburg is two up, so they are ninth. Looking at the stats after a full time whistle, Dear Gordon leads in both shots on target and possession, but it just shows that, it, that it's not everything. and. Well, you have to make the most of your chances. It was a typical counter-attack game from Gothenburg. If you look at the second and the third goal, it was actually the same script, just on the opposite side. Well, thank you Allsvenskan, thank you Sweden and Gothenburg for this amazing experience. Such fierce fans. It was, it was so great, I wasn't expecting that it's gonna be this good. Another thank you goes to Noel for the interview and to you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and see you next time.